Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. Delighted to be joined for the first time in a while by Louis Evanson. How are you, mate? All good, Joe. How's you, mate? Very well. Um, another kind of big opportunity for you. Got to take it with both hands. Just spoke to your trainer. This fight, then the big ones, yeah? That's it, that's it. Um, eight rounder now. We're happy to be moving on with the rounds. Yeah. What we've been wanting for a long time now. So, um, yeah, we're happy to be moving forward. Let's get through this. Um, God willing, no injuries and put on a good performance. And then, yeah, we want to move on to the big ones. I've spoke to you before about kind of some of your frustrations with like injuries and then it's been a little bit stop start, but it's 2024, so you had the back end of last year, but 2024, the year where you just push on now. Listen, we're pushing, yeah, we want to push on and we want the big fights, we want the big nights. Um, we haven't been as busy, we'd have liked to get out before this one this year, but we're not in control of that sometimes. So it's what we can do, we're ready to push on and yeah, we want a big 2024. What are those big fights for you? Well, there's Ben Whitaker there, but yeah, but he, he's a sausage. He don't want to fight. He, like, he's not going to fight. Ezra Taylor. Yeah. From hopefully he's got a bit more balls. Hopefully, um, I don't know. Maybe they're a little bit funny from up that side of the country. So <laughs> hopefully Ezra Taylor's got a little bit more, um, little bit more inside him, a little bit more grit, a little bit more heart than Ben Whitaker. Because we all know that Ben Whitaker's a clown. And um, yeah, either of them. I think them two, them two fights make sense at this stage. Um, and yeah, they're the two fighters I would like, either one of them. Right, let's talk about Ben Whitaker then. Um, we all know what happened in Bournemouth between the two of you, and from an outside perspective, it looked like the fight could have been made. Um, so from your perspective, what happened there? Listen, we wanted the fight, we accepted the fight. Boxer wanted the fight, Sky Sports wanted the fight. We accepted that fight on many occasions, like probably seven or eight different dates, different venues, we accepted it. The only reason that fight never happened is because Ben Whitaker's got no balls. No heart and no balls. So, why do you think he's taken the African King? He's a bit of an unknown entity. He done kind of the same thing you done by starting at the press conference, that was, but... That was a setup, wasn't it? Come <laughs> on, that was a setup if ever I'll see one. I reckon Ben Whitaker and his dad African King, come on, let's 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 make up some let's make up some story and build the fight. I don't I really don't want to fight Louis Edmondson, so can you can you make this make this happen and then we can fight you to make it look like he's fighting someone that's called him out. He knows what he's doing, he's not stupid, he knows what he's doing. If you do the business Saturday night and he does the business on what is it, June fifteenth, are you open to that fight anytime, again? Look at him. Any time, any time. You don't genuinely don't think anytime. he takes it. No, no way. He hasn't got. Nah, he hasn't got it in him. He hasn't got it in him. His promoter wanted it. Ben Shalom wanted it. Sky Sports wanted it. He's the only person that never wanted it. Let's just get that one thing straight. He is the only person that didn't want it to happen. Just last thing on Ben Whitaker then. Um, if he is watching this, have you got a message to him to take the fight? Grow some nuts and let's get it on, you sausage. Excellent, Louis. I'm sick of talking about him, to be honest with you. I'm sick of talking about him and I don't think he's going to fight, but yeah. Let's talk about yourself then. As I said, speaking to your trainer off camera, looking sharp, looking fresh. Do you just feel like you're coming into your own now as a pro? Listen, I'm coming into my own. It takes a little bit of time, as everybody knows. Um, I'm coming into myself now. Um, the extra round's going to do me good. I perform better over the longer rounds. Um, it's what we've been waiting for. So, yeah, I feel like I'm going to see a career profess, uh, best performance now. And a good step of an opponent, too. Um, he's been around the block. Um, I know he's had a few losses and he's coming off the back of a few losses against a good opposition, though. Um, former English champion. So, yeah, uh, a boxer that's actually come into box rather than a messy, you know. So, I feel like you're going to see the best out of me. And, um, yeah, we want to push on for a big 2024. Excellent, Louis Emerson. Thank you very much for being to IFL TV. Hopefully get this win and maybe we will get the Whitaker fight. That's it. Ezra Taylor, Ben Whitaker, throw some balls. Let's get it on. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook.